I swear, I swear it was somewhere around here. Where is it? I know I saw it. I was going down these paths and I saw it. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna go get it. There was a comment saying, hey, look at those spots. Pretty much, pretty much. I'm paraphrasing. Look at those spots. May you want to attack them. There's loot inside it. I must snipe it out of a blue, out of uh, existence. But one of these. Oh, almost perfectly aimed. A little bit higher. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps I need to throw only an arrow will do it. Let's find out. Please, it can't be this hard. Oh! Little piece of loot has been dropped. Let's go see what it is. Let's properly dismount. What do you have in that pot? Is this going to be incredible? Mushroom Cellar's Bell Berry. Alright, okay. We'll have to give it at the round table hold. But you know where I know there's another pot? Let's go get it. Way back here in the Fat Positivity Convention, there is a fatty down here, and there is a pot that I have seen in my own replay, pointed out by a faithful commenter, the one that tipped me off to maybe destroy those pots and get yourself a pile of loot out of them. Hmm. I know I've seen, I saw it on the replay, so I know it's here. I'm just not sure exactly <laughs> where it's at. It was somewhere on that cliff right there. The high wasn't far up enough. Can I please snipe it? Or do I need to equip my bow again? Ha! Eat my pile of madness. Give me that good stuff. Will it be another bell bearing? Is that like a theme? String seller's bell bearing. Let's turn these in. <laughs> Mushroom seller's bell bearing. Here you go. Mushroom seller's bell bearing. String seller's bell bearing. All right, let's purchase. Now I can purchase strings. Now I can purchase mushrooms. How enormously exciting. I can now make myself some delicious portobello casserole and also hang myself. <laughs> I still cling to my lofty ambitions. Lofty ambitions to destroy this thing and I am properly equipped now or well, I guess better equipped with a giant two-hander sword that does not do fire damage we're going to go back to our giant anvil after this I do I, I probably shouldn't have gone so close my bad torrent my bad you are now <laughs> on fire I need to have my pile of souls these runes cannot go to waste for I have worked too hard for them. All right, there you go. We're back. We're back into it. Let's do it. This thing's not going to destroy me. Please don't explode. You're gonna throw all the fire, aren't you? What a pain in the ass, but hey, I am not protected. Yeah, yeah, he's exploding giant rains of fire. Just <laughs> spam the roll uh, and the my big fire protection between flame, pro ooh. Between Flame Protect Me and the Fire Drake Talisman I'm wearing. Wow. The fire is really not a big deal. It's just barely a tickle, brothers. It takes so long, but eventually he shall fall. And my attacks will suddenly be insurmountable. Let's see if we can get that stagger. Do not allow however for it to grab my anus I don't know what's happening right now oh that's the jump it's not the jump oh I got this dagger they didn't even realize it let's just keep doing those jump attacks this is a grab isn't it don't do it buddy <laughs> don't do it uh, probably should be doing one of these because it's percentage damage right yeah yeah I am a little dumb well, that's gonna destroy me. Yep, yep, sure does. Oh, I think Flame Protect Me has expired. Don't grab me. Oh, buddy. Just keep those, doing those jump attacks. One of these. 
Uh, oh, I am out of juice! Did not even realize there was an attack coming. That is the problem when I am running around blind like an idiot. Here, one with juice. Okay. I mean, the fire does barely a tickle. When, uh, I, you know, maybe keep an eye on both legs. That will, that will also help quite a bit. Please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Very easily available. Get destroyed, scum lord. Oh, wow, that's only half the health. Huh? Well, we're still working on it. <laughs> we're still working on it. Just keep spamming the attacks. Maybe uh, I should have plenty of time to charge up the heavy. Uh, this should do a lot of stagger damage. Do not let the grab happen. At least it wasn't a grab. It's all good. As long as Flame Protect Me is still working. Run! Woo! <laughs> So the spring protect me is still getting my ass. It is the stump. It's so obnoxious, dude. <laughs> I can't see what, she, what the guy's doing. But I cannot possibly lock on. Oh, maybe, maybe locking on is not so bad. I don't like fighting giant monsters locked on. It's always so silly. I was trying to jump, but for some reason, the input for the light attack happens so quickly if you hold down the button. Yo! Run! Oh, that was bad. I mean, at least... <laughs> at least it was the horse and not me. Yep. Yeah. Can I interest you, sir? Well, shit. That's not what I meant to, to do. Can I interest you in eating my ass? That would be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> alright, alright. Let's uh, replenish or refresh. Flame protect me. I really cannot. Uh, why are you two-handing... That's so stupid. Why are you two-handing the amulet and not using the spell? Very silly. Very, very freaking dumb. Yeah, yeah, I am engulfed in flames. It is a thing that is happening right now. Ah! But, but... The fire is doing so much damage. Yoopla! All right, all right. Is going to be done in just a moment. Don't worry about me. Please. Stagger. Please. I beg you. What's up? Don't you want to just fall flat on your face? That will be so great. <laughs> Please. It takes so long. Uh, you know, the the rolling is uh, completely optional. Whether it gives you immunity frames or not, it's just entirely up to the video game whether you want to be grabbed or not. Am I now out of uh, juice? Yes, I am. I have no more heals. Did I not come here all rested and stuff? I really thought this would be the last... But no, it's not going to be the last. <laughs> oh, I hate this monster so much. Please, face this way. Face this way. Do <gasps> Please. <laughs> Where is the face? Where is it? <laughs> oh, I found the face completely by accident. Oh, what a nightmare! <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible nightmare. Another furnace visage. I wonder what those are used for. I'm completely out of healing. But I found a Viridian Hidden Tear. Eliminates all stamina consumption in mixed physique. 
That is OP as hell, as far as I'm concerned. Fantastic. Well, we explore all that nonsense. This seems to be... Like, I really thought the bottom of the river would be just, you know, one of them dead ends. You go to a cave and you do maybe a little bit of a catacomb and there's nothing else. And you turn back. But clearly, this is some kind of passage to somewhere else. I certainly explore all that area over there. So let's just uh, continue on around these damn electro goats. Really could use a uh, side of grace. After all that work, brother, we're turning around. We're going to explore the other places that I haven't been. Because this is clearly a new and exciting area for me to go into. And there is just too many beautiful things that I left behind. There are an army of markers. Let's go to number one, which was traveling up river. The path that I thought would be the thing that leads somewhere more interesting, the down river. For some reason, I continue defying the guidance of Miyazaki. Very clearly, Miyazaki put a path in front of me up the stairs leading into a castle. I'm going the wrong way. Leading to a castle. Instead, I chose to go into the wilderness yet again. For some reason, there is this gamer impulse in me to always try to find the path less traveled. Never go where the game designers obviously want me to go. I'm going to go on into the corner and find that half a butt cheek from the rat that you hid in the cliff. Where am I going? I'm just running circles right now. Please give me some light. It is just a freaking cliff. A cleft in the cliff. What's all these uh, blood stains? I think this is where we fought the tree spirit, isn't it? All right, let's continue on. There will be something interesting at the bottom of this of this river. You do not classify as something interesting, the disgusting fly moth men. I hate you, and I don't want to fight you ever again. I have received too many big sucks from you. I mean, if I don't go into all the little corners, who's going to find that coveted fly mold? Huh? We have arrived at a pile of corpses. You know, Elden Ring loves their the piles of corpses. Oh, come on, please. Do not miss in such a heinous manner. Oh, this reminds me, for some reason, reminds me. I am not too handy in this. Uh, it re does remind me. I still have the fire, the fire amulet. What did this do again? The the Ash of War? A push! Good door stop off. Alright, good, good, good stuff. Let's take this off. And something I do enjoy, I didn't mean to do that. Something I do enjoy, maybe we'll just go for that uh, Crimson Sea Talisman. It makes the healing go so many extra miles. Anyway, Elden Ring loves their pile of rotten corpses. You cannot turn a corner without finding those disgusting, postulant piles of dead. Of the dead. The nobles and the people in charge love to designate corners of the world to toss all the bodies of their enemies, and this is no exception. I'm trying to see what's on top. The abandoned alien village. And remember there was like a, a platform off it? That's where <laughs> that's that's what's at the bottom of that platform where the jokesters up there threw out all the people on the plank. Alright, let's continue on. I'm not even going to show you how I destroy this crab. We have seen so many killed crabs in the past. What is one more? Oh boy, here we go again. The typical Elden Ring. PvP experience. Let's uh, be summoned to a completely unknown corner of the world, run around for five minutes, get a message that the host has died, and then go back to what we were doing. Well, I found the host. There's the invader. Hello, Mr. Invader. Let me uh, get humiliated by you. I look forward to it. That is some badass. Okay, well... You are using a weapon that I am not familiar at all with. So let me just hide. Yep. 
You know what? You seem like you could enjoy some Flame of Frenzy. Uh-oh. This <laughs> is bad. Yeah, he's using weapons I am completely unfamiliar with. Uh, which is my beautiful excuse of why I'm not going to... Here, eat one of these. I mean, that's something, right? Good thirst. Man, he's just... He's just too fast. Here. Maybe you'll actually eat the Ash of War. Ah, he's too good. He's too good for me. I am too awful. <laughs> this giant hammer. Oh. What? I got myself a rune arc, baby. I held off. Look at that. I didn't die. I held off the invader until they could fight the boss. My mission was complete. Oh. Totally. Totally did what that entire system is supposed to do. Let's take off this dumbass ring because it is pissing me off. Yes, stop answering this nonsense. I am sick of going to help people that cannot help themselves. Anyway, I have found a passage that shows some weird spirit worms. Let me make sure I did not miss anything before going in there. Oh wow, look at that. There's yet another cave. There's two caves, but I saw a side of grace down there, which means this is going to be one of them catacombs. And the other with the spirit worms... It's probably just going to be a piece of loot. So let's go over there by the spirit worms. Let's activate this summoning pool. Why the hell not? Let's go back and check out what's over there. It's probably something that is much faster than this cave. We're going to definitely do this cave. We're going to exhaust this entire path. I don't know where it leads. Probably it may it may lead to the top of that castle at like a, a back entrance. Because we're like right under it. So I guess we'll find out. But first, whatever the hell this is supposed to be. A turtle? A piece of loot? Give me a little piece of loot. Two-headed turtle talisman, all right. Let's kill this dog. Dorsh! <laughs> the perfect turtle cracker. Give myself some turtle meat. Okay, they, they attack, they do damage. I do more damage than you, fella. But is it worth killing these things? Absolutely not. Let me just leave this place. It sucks. Anyway, before I forget, let's enable the new tier that I found. Let's take out the bubble and we'll put on the no stamina cost. Sounds like a super badass thing to use. And then we're also going to equip the new turtle talisman. We don't need so much healing, do we? Absolutely not. Greatly raises the stamina. A talisman in the shape of a two of a two-handed green turtle greatly raises stamina recovery speed. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. Two-headed turtles are a favorite subject in the land of the tower. Due to the spiral shape of their intertwined necks, how incredible. This I think is eight percent better regeneration. One that probably this is just sixteen percent, right? Probably is a noticeable increase in stamina regeneration which seems extremely useful with this giant hammer that i'm wielding dogs destroy filthy wolves i don't appreciate them and I, i'm not really into this ash of war it's okay uh the hammer it is hilarious to swing this massive overcompensating pile of iron but uh Definitely I would not call it my final weapon. You know, I am wielding it because it is new and exciting. And it is just hilarious to be basically wielding an anvil on a stick. But uh, definitely not... Oh, wow, they do a lot of damage. Here. Need to watch watch for them to murdering me. Please do not get killed. Do not get killed by the dogs. Likely whole. It's kind of refreshing going into a cave... With just simple old wolves as opposed to the usual monstrosities, postulant prisoners, turgid in jars. Ooh. Ooh They're big, fat, disgusting, pimple ridden, ridden, laceration resisting piles of flesh. No, just from regular fairy boys that uh, you just bash over the head with your anvil on a stick. 
and carry on with your life. Wonder if we're going to find a super wolf. Likely a trap, therefore praise it. Like, Jesus, wonder if uh, that uh, ground will crumble under my feet. Chin, let's find out. Let's find out. Maybe if I step carefully, right? Like in when ice is breaking under your feet, you are supposed to lay down on it. Trap. Oh, trap. Maybe I can just very, very slowly. No! <laughs> Where's the monster? Man, look at all this blood. Absolutely atrocious. Show me the secret passage. No secret passage. Let's car carry on going down this nice river of blood. I think the wolves are done. Now we're going to face the usual Miyazaki abominations. Yep, there we are. Another convention of fatties. I really don't like this weapon for the fatties. Because we need some AOE here. Look at all these people. Filthy heathens. Gross. False idol worshipping mongrels. I fought dogs upstairs, but you are the real mongrels. This is going with the hammer. What's the worst that can happen? What I will do, however, make sure that I am fully buffed. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, that is not what I meant to use. I meant to use the flask. I mean, the crab. Give me this. And you know what? Instead of that. You know what kind of AOE I have? The Flame of Frenzy! This is the one true god, you filth. You disgusting creatures. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get wrecked, son. Oh, no, please. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, frenzy you again. Ah! Okay, they do quite a bit of damage. Whoa! It's good AoE. I like it. Let's stop abusing it, though. Seems like the stamina usage, it really expires quite quickly. So it's for a nice giant burst of damage. Okay, these people are just dumb, right? <laughs> They're not even bothering to defend their fellow acolytes. It's just everybody for their own. Alright, everybody has woken up. Everybody has woken up. Time to face the one true god. The lord of chaos. Oh! <laughs> you are the prime target for my giant pile. My torrent of yellow flame. A bitch. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, 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 they, 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 they blocked my escape. Uh-oh. Well, you go up the passage. Oh, man. He hit me across the freaking, uh, oh. He hit me across the damn cave. What an asshole. Here, catch one of these, bitch. Get destroyed. Oh, wow, that's a lot of AoE. They didn't realize that that was so fat. Durst. <laughs> Hilarious pile of fire. Oh, your AI has been broken. And let me tell you, I have zero problem exploiting this. Not a problem whatsoever. I have argued for this many, many times. Miyazaki... Loves to put monsters behind corners, bait you with a piece of loot, get you murdered, pushing you off a cliff. If you give me a choke point where the enemy AI borks out, I'm going to take it for all it's worth. I don't give a crap about it being cheesy. What, you want me to fight 10 enemies at the same time? I'm going to pass on that. Thank you very much. I'm going to make sure that the odds are better stacked in my favor. Here. Sniped! Oopla. Oh, yeah. Run faster, fatty. Time to get on that treadmill. Get destroyed. The weight of my arguments has crushed to your... Spirit! You're worshipping false god. And I will shape your skull into a new... Oh! 
Oh no! No, don't do it! Look away! <laughs> oh my bravado! Has uh, gone down the drain. Never mind. Never mind. You guys are free to worship however you please. In fact, how about we. I have a coexist sticker on my bumper! You can't be doing this! I am ready to just give you uh, all my tolerance. Suckers! <laughs> you absolute idiot! You thought that I was serious, but no. I was just getting myself a vantage point. Am I about to be ambushed? No, it's all good. Alright, how about... Oh, didn't mean to do that. How about you give me the Black Flames protection, please? Alright, we, we, we can now face this straight after I have softened them so thoroughly. Burst! You did. Oh, so! Be careful, be careful. That scum lord behind will attack through their friend. Don't even worry about friendly fire. It's pretty upsetting. The monsters really should have friendly fire. Because they're they're only designating monsters with friendly fire. And it's weird. Like these morons should all attack each other when they try to attack through one another. But it's only relegated to like big dragons and other monsters that they can mouth mow through and that kind of stuff but it really should be a general thing that you can use against the enemies sacred bloody flesh how incredibly exciting uh, raw meat soaked in blood a delicacy of the blood fiends temporarily boost physical attack power and cane when blood loss occurs nearby further boost attack power the blood say it's like basically you know one of the consumables what is this horns to fuse with sp spirituality material used for crafty crafting items Horn beast in the realm of shadow. The crucible has a part. Oh, uh, let me, tell me, tell me about the crucible. I've been speculating that this entire place is like the primordial crucible rules in this place, as opposed to the golden order. The crucible has a particularly strong influence on the beast of the realm of shadow, causing many to grow horns despite the characteristics of their species. Since that, um, my theory is proving correct. <laughs> anyway, this is like a consumable, like the crab. The crab meat, but for people that enjoy blood loss, really that wasn't that wasn't the blood the thing that I wanted to buff myself for, huh? So the, those people are going to be there every freaking time that I die in this boss fight. Well, let then let's make sure I don't die. Wonder what kind of damage is going to be. Let's use the black flames protection as our default. Wish me luck, baby. And once that uh, runs out, we'll go with some more crab. Chief Blood Fiend. All right. I'm not super intimidated by the Blood Fiends, but he might be a truly magnificent specimen. Let me just unlock because I am basically getting camera fucked by this monster. I mean, the fire works so well, though. Ow. Black Flame Protection is... Oh, I have no feels left. Well, that's, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? But the fire is literally, literally the weakness of this monster. Uh oh. No blood flame. Stop it. Don't do it. Oh, super stumps. Get staggered, bitch. <laughs> you may call me lucky. I call me powerful. Bottle cannot be held back. Bluffing Hexer's Ashes. All right. Pretty neat. Bottle cannot be stopped. She just uses overwhelming force to stop the enemy from uh, caving her skull in. Absolutely excellent. Loved it. So it seems like that is just the dead end that we were hoping for. Let me get one of these. Replenish my pile of flasks and you know what a level is in order well, what we're doing getting up to 60 vigor right let me just get 55 and that's it and then i'll probably just put points in strength or points in faith or maybe i'll just want to round up my build like because endurance 25 is perhaps kind of ass let's go to 55 and then i i plan to get to 200 let's get up to 30 endurance and then we'll see what we do from there Either way, now it's time to go 
to another numbered area, I never went up this entire path. So let's go explore it. Explore it. I ignore you fools. There's my marker. And let's continue going down the road. Already I see delicious loot that I never gathered. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. It the, the was a, the, it was a one hit stagger, huh? Badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're, you're powerful. I, I respect you. How about you get destroyed by spikes coming out of the, out of the ground? A oh, bitch. Mesmer soldier's axe. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. A swift spear. Are you guys coming? Or am I peace? Am I in peace? They seem to be retreating. I want to check out the swift spear. But I don't want to get ambushed by you, the likes of you. All right. So we got Mesmer soldier's axe. Favorite those who lost themselves utterly to in their Lord's War, capable of performing powerful charge attacks. Let's check it out. Uh, I don't like short weapons like this. Uh, your father is wielding one of these, actually. And it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But not mess, uh, not mess, not buttholes. Favorite. Now, let's check out the Swift Spear. It's a dex weapon. Never mind. We'll see the... Is indeed swift. Very, very swift. Very cool. Very elegant. I like the stance of it. Spears always kind of annoy me. They're just like, Ooh, poke, poke, poke. This has, this has style. I like it quite a lot. That being said, dexterity weapon, instant pass. Give me my giant super hammer again. That's where we're at. Super anvil hammer. We carry on crushing fools. All right, so we went down that way, right? We went down that way. Pretty sure I already murdered all those people before. So let's go up this path. Carry on on foot. Let's see what we can uh, face. We want to go up this entire path. See what uh, where Enda ends up. Looking forward to whatever wonderful. First off, left. You're not the boss of me. Isn't that where I went already? Can't really tell. Oh, look. It's one of the Mikolas crosses. Let's go and do it. And it looks like I marked it as my third place to go. So <laughs> let's go and go there. Let's go and go there indeed. You see a Mikolas cross, you probably want to go check it out right away. Appreciate the side of grace. This is great. There is, in fact, a person. Let us converse. Isn't that the same dude that was at the top of Belurat? Or rather, at the foot of Belurat? Might as well uh, replenish all my junk. Okay, nothing to be done there. Some feller over there. Give me a skibbity tree. Fragment. Fantastic. Car wor carved words coalesce. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. Which part? Clearly the cock and balls. Praise the lovable sort. Is it a lady? Oh, hello there. Indeed. Are you the tarnished? Lady, let us I am a lord. The tarnished, guided here by Mikola the kind. My name is Teolier. Teolier. I too am tarnished, and here on kind. Why do you sound so sad, count. though? So, well, uh, here's to new beginnings, I suppose. The more I see of this land, the more I feel Mikola is Griffith. Uh, <laughs> Mikola is sorry, like this angelic I'm being. That is, in fact, a horrible tyrant in his heart. I've always been this, I've always way, been this way since the very day, day I was born. I'm afraid the only thing I'm proficient in is, is poison. Sorry. Maybe take off the mask because I can barely understand what you're saying, lady. Well, you definitely have a pile of poison. I will get all your mushrooms. I will get all your poison bloom. Actually, I'm broke. Some Miranda powder. Wow. Deadly poison perfume perfume bottle. Oh, this is another one of those. Let me sell some filthy runes. This is another one of those actual weapons. Let me just throw all these into the garbage. I don't want to spend a uh, hundred thousand, but I'll do one. That should be enough to that should be enough to afford everything that she sells. Arcane. So not all perfume bottles. Scale directly with dexterity. Hopefully we can find something with faith. That will be great. So we can use it for a little while. An arcane perfume bottle. Not my thing. Altus Bloom. Trina's Lily. Uh, we'll take the ones that are new. Poison Stone Clump, huh? 
Amazing. No, this is just something, something you throw and it's like poison, right? Uh, it's just kind of silly. Word if you need any more poison. No, you seem to be uh, quite so, uh, well versed. Nothing else to be said. I like you. Will you be my girlfriend? Gorgeous view ahead. If only I had a lover. Ah, that's what I marked. There was one path next to the flowers that I never went up through. And there was like a freaking shack at the end. I need to go there. Very cool. Very beautiful. Elden Ring, man. Never fails to disappoint in the looks department. Even though the graphics, you couldn't, wouldn't call them the highest fidelity. Look at Bottle's face. Environments, though. It's just so damn... Such a gorgeous game. Anyway, let's go back to the other path. Holy crap, the recording is 45 minutes up. Uh, I've been probably editing maybe five minutes out of it. So, let's go. Uh, I am too curious to see what's at the end of this path, though. Let's go over to this side. Oh, hello, fellas. Let me just hammer hammer my beliefs onto your cranium. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, buddy. Thank goodness I have a horse. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, oh wow. I don't do a lot of damage to you, do I? Here, eat one of these. Please do not murder me. <laughs> these guys, you you need a lot of aggression against them. You can't just pussyfoot and be hand back. They will cream you if you try to panic roll. Ankle guards, huh? Aesthetic ankle guards. Uh, I'm wearing some pretty light stuff. The poise cost of this is absolutely abysmal. <laughs> Look at her skinny, pathetic legs. Absolutely awful. Alright, something a little bit heavier though. That would be great. There you go. Night cavalry's uh, legs. Alright. Well, that horned demon ambushed the crap out of me. Very traumatic. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I missed. That's why. <laughs> like, where's the where's the health total here? I don't know why I'm killing these idiots. We have killed like a, a bajillion of them before, and we'll kill twenty million more. Spirit grave stone. What even are those? Graveside plane. Place of blah blah blah. blah. Oh, amazing. Okay, let's continue on the path. I often deviate. I did see loot, though. I will deviate for loot. I will often just traverse all those mounds around the path. No, let's carry on on the path. See what's at the end of it. I look forward to finding out incredible wonders. Looks like a giant tower at the end of it. Give me a horse so I can be a little bit further up. Have a better view. It really doesn't seem like there's much. Something on the road there. Ooh, side of grace. Oh. oh. Somebody is enjoying himself. Somebody has just creamed his pants real good. Let me go there and clean up for you. Please. No more. I am oh. sorry. Turns out it was not orgasmic pleasure. Come no closer. Horror. Please. Me no further. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> I mean, it would be hilarious to do it, but no, I am into it for the lore. Give me whatever is going on with you. Okay. okay. You have nothing to say. I haven't hurt you, you weirdo. Don't give up. Oh, don't give up. Please, Pearl. I didn't hurt you, though. What are you talking about? Are you just talking to whatever's haunting your dreams? Let me do one of these. Maybe you'll reset it. Are you gonna have any kind of dialogue? Oh! Well, that is uh, animated. Jesus. I will soon feast upon your heart. Mark my words. You too shall know fear. 
This guy's a man after my own heart. He truly is full of rage and uh, vengeful lust. Also a bit of a masochist, so, you know, you'll be very well received in my cabinet whenever I start governing this place. All right. <laughs> Amazing. Somebody having a personal struggle session of his own. Very, very terrible. It's a giant tower over there. It's been too long, though, so with these fella, I'm gonna leave you. Let's just lay down next to him. Commiserate. Commiserate next to our vengeful friend. I am sure we will help him in the adventures ahead.